fuck. Yeah, so about a month ago, Halo did a multiplayer uh, beta that was free to access that I couldn't play. Xbox Direct or whatever it's called, Xbox Next, kept kicking me out whenever I tried to register for the service. It's like, no, uh, not you. So that was great. But I have seen a lot of people play it. It looks fantastic. Uh, it really looks like Halo. Like, I really hope they have a swap mode, but that's just me. Uh, there are better videos on this that that I can't do. So, uh, moving on. Oh, one comment real quick. Dr. Disrespect is a dumbass for thinking that Halo needs a battle royale or is going to die. Y'all see that PC trailer? So the first one that came out uh, to really talk about is like the PC trailer. And it's just kind of cool. I always like the behind the scenes stuff. I really like seeing Bungie's Vidox, especially when it comes to uh, Destiny. Yeah, those are cool. Those are really fun. But like here we got to see just the troubles and making it both an Xbox and PC exclusive at the exact same time. So we'll see how it goes. Just have to wait and see. Oh, one, th one thing I do want to mention Aside from like the graphical improvements and all that that they're doing, I do really want that. The, the keyboard, mouse, and like pad, I'm an easy consumer, I understand it, but like, I want to have it. it. It's great. It looks so fun. They're exclusives. Give them to me now. Slap sync 2. So really the meat of this entire video is going to be the uh, campaign trailer. It looks so good. It looks like Halo again. I'm so excited for it because it looks like Halo. We have a new mission, soldier. So in the trailer, we get to see a little bit more of like the whole open world experience that they're promising, which... Fuck yes! So I'm, I'm finally glad we got to see that because that looks so entertaining. And they, they're they promising it's going to be the biggest Halo experience that we've ever had. In the entire Halo saga is what they call it. So I'm very excited Sir, to see how their ambition carries in. And like not not only that, but we're going to Zeta Halo, which has some of the best lore in Halo. If you've ever seen like a lore video, I'm not good enough to talk about it. I'll touch on it, but you should really go find. Here here's a good video. This is one I like. This is one I like. Here's another one that you'll probably need for later. I'm not gonna give you context yet. All right, moving on. But like the whole story, like they introduce it that it starts with the weapon which we saw like all the way back in the gameplay story reveal trailer at E3 over the summer our little Cortana look-alike uh, and there seems to be a lot more going on with this than like you'd expect because like she's very naive and skittish and I actually want to see her more because like it's such a contrast to Cortana Cortana was like the one with the plan. Like, Chief was following her, but now it looks like she's following Chief in, like, the roles have been reversed. And not only that, like, they're not saying, it's like, yeah, Halo 5 never happened. Which, I know that's a controversial move, but it's acknowledging the past, but then building upon it. Which is like, you start just trying to destroy Cortana, and then you're getting stuck with the weapon. And now the Risen, or the... What are they fucking called? The Banished. The Banished are able to take over and get the foothold they have now because of Cortana, like, decimating the UNSC in, at the end of 5. It's not forgetting what happened, but it's building upon it from what... They're taking the good and leaving out the bad. And I do have theories about the weapons that I believe in some way if Cortana was deleted or escaped or some other bullshit that she somehow merged with uh, the weapon just to have someone to look after Chief because she does genuinely care about him and that's something I'm looking forward to. However, the Banished aren't even the worst thing that we have to face. They're not our biggest threat. We kind of see in the trailer, uh, someone shows up. Uh, roll the clip, please. And something even more threatening. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I am the harbinger of the truth. You are not the future. And this, like, I, it's not confirmed who it is, 
but I'm pretty sure it's the Primordial, which is, if you look up the lore on Zeta Halo, you'll kind of uh, find that it's like, it's basically what's kept there, because a lot of shit happened on Zeta Halo, and the Primordial is one of the biggest things there. They're basically like the last of the precursors who the Forerunners destroyed to take over the mantle of responsibility when it was supposed to go to humans. But instead, it's basically like the first grave mind, the last of the precursors. And they're threatening us. So we'll see like where the story goes, but like, that's exciting. It sounds like it could be a side plot to set up another villain, or it could be part of the main quest. It's like Fort, like that might be what happens late game, mid game. We'll have to see with like, maybe we'll have contending threats. Maybe uh, we'll have to work with the banished because there is no UNSC. They're ha we again, they're remembering their consequences. And I can commend uh, 343 for that, if nothing else. However, I, I do have a few issues with what we've seen in this trailer. Mainly, like, what, uh, there's an upgrade system that kind of, uh, I don't know, defeats the purpose of uh, Halo. Like, the Halo 1, 2, 3 Reach, like, it was like you could go into the mission with absolutely nothing and figure it out. Here, I don't know. Like, it makes sense for an open world to have, like, an upgradable skill tree of just, like, things that help you. But, like, it might ruin the feel of Halo again. Just, like, sprinting does. I hate to say it, but sprinting does it. And Halo Reach is one of my favorite games where they introduced it. But I think they still did it in, like, at least a reasonable way. That's, like, that's your ability. Like, you could have Sprint, or you could have a Jetpack. Like, it it kind of balances out, even if it kind of breaks. However, uh, I think that would be fine if it's a campaign only. To make you feel like the super soldier you are. Like, sure, campaign it, it can be a very different feeling from multiplayer. It's like, multiplayer has, like, things that make you feel amazing. But it, it's not, like, making you feel overpowered, like there's no obstacles. And I don't think this is either. It's letting you feel like chief is the hero that the earth and the entire galaxy at this point needs because the stakes feel upped and i can't even describe it because like the banished and their leader whose name i am forgetting yeah you know uh that guy he feels like it somehow the stakes feel upped and you can feel it in like the core th trio that we have of the pilot uh the weapon and chief like all working together like like they have their comedic moments of just like chief seems like and genuinely annoyed with them but it makes for a great dynamic so and, and that's definitely a reason why the stakes feel substantially increased from even like whatever cortana was doing in five because that was like a galactic threat but it, it still felt less important than this and I think that's a major improvement. There, I could talk about this game for hours. I don't know a lot about the multiplayer, but the campaign seems like it's going to be one of the best stories we've ever gotten in Halo. And I can't wait to see it. Like the, the trailer ends with like the funny moment of like, oh chief, you seem to be getting shot at a lot. But before that, it had this really great moment of chief relying on like the small team he has of the weapon and our pilot and just him getting in while well, it sounds like Cortana and it probably is in some way of her like I don't think Cortana's gonna be that big in the story more of like actually what we should have had in five where Chief is dealing with the fact that he lost someone so important to him it's like the grief was never really there for him it was just like wait Cortana's back immediately well fuck me Exploring this vast and fractured world will put Spartan 117 to the ultimate test. But where there is courage, there is hope. But it, it does seem genuinely like... The, but the trailer ends with the quote, Where there is courage, there is hope. And that's what the battle on Zeta Halo feels like. It's the battle for hope. Because there was another trailer that uh from the banish and their leader that's saying that warriors and heroes wearing armor their armor can be broken and then hope dies hope it makes you weak 
So it's going to be a battle for hope because while everything seems lost, all the forces we knew are crippled or gone. Uh, we don't have the support that we once did in even Halo Combat Evolved. It feels like the last ditch effort, like it was on reach. But as long as we have Chief, we have hope. And that's what these, what this game is. It's a last hope for Halo. We've had all these memories, but the series is dying. It, it, unfortunately, because it's such a great series, but it, it hasn't performed well and it's so far apart, but we've forgotten what Halo was in the light of every other shooter like the Battlefields or Call of Duty. And now we're returning to it with Master Chief. And there is hope. We have our hero. There is a ton of hope left to give. And I can't wait to see what happens next. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, this was something new I want to try. Trust me, there's a lot more coming. Uh, if you want to see me, check me out on Twitch. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays of just whatever game I want. We're trying to get into Sundays for our D&D show, Arcane Adventures, which feature me, a few other streamers, and my friends. And it's fun. We're trying to get it back up the week after Halloween. That'll be on Sundays. And that's it. I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to... And that's it. And I'll try to see you guys next week with some more videos. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you subscribe down below. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. I don't care. But just say whatever you want in the comments. I want to talk to you guys about this. Because this is such an exciting game for me. And I'm upset I didn't get to play the beta. Don't make a girl a promise.